visiting Greenland. Know this. Greenland is one of the most unknown and isolated places in the world. It is home to glaciers sparkling in different shades, colors of blue and a vast ice cap spanning about 80% of the mega island. Over the past decade, Greenland is slowly but surely beginning to become a popular location for adventurous travelers. Here are 15 things to know before visiting Greenland. Number 1. Visas and Entry Greenland is a country administered as part of the so-called Danish realm, and is easy to visit for most travelers and visitors from the USA, UK, Australia and Canada who do not require visas. Residents of countries, like South Africa and Russia, will require visas. Number 2. Food and water in Greenland. Be careful by all means, but Greenland has clean, safe drinking water everywhere. Otherwise, just take normal hygiene precautions as you would anywhere. The indigenous Inuit Greenlanders diet, is naturally restricted to what they can harvest from the sea. As such, there is little in the way of vegetables apart from the few berries, tubers and grasses that grow on the uncovered land. Travelers should reach their own conclusions on whether or not to eat it. Of course, it is polite to accept food offered to you by your hosts, but some dishes might challenge your palate. Number 3, Hiking Safety in Greenland Most travelers visit Greenland for its scenic beauty, and adventure activities like hiking and kayaking. If hiking, where sturdy, well-worn in, grippy, closed footwear as trails can be uneven and rocky or even icy in patches. The cool Arctic climate can be very pleasant in summer with averages of around 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius, although these averages are rising. Make sure your outermost layer is water or spray proof, and your innermost layer is warm. Number 4, go with an experienced guide and pack right. If you're traveling in unfamiliar territory, it's wise to go with a guide, and, just like hiking anywhere, carry sufficient water, a sun hat, sunglasses, trail snacks and insect repellent. Greenland is a great destination to see and walk on glaciers, but the latter is a precarious activity, and should be avoided unless you are with an experienced guide on a marked path. Don't wander off, as glaciers can shift and crumble without warning. Number 5, Arctic Mosquitoes. Arctic mosquitoes are legendary and ferocious, but you can avoid these pests by wearing a net around your hat, staying close to the sea, for the breeze, or using a repellent. Light-colored clothes are less attractive to mosquitoes. If you must use commercial repellents, use a liquid or cream, as sprays are not eco-friendly. Number 6, Safety Tips for Kayaking in Greenland. If you're kayaking, Wear a dry suit to insulate yourself against the freezing water in case a capsize occurs. Kayak tour operators in Greenland will supply these along with instructions and tips. One of the most important safety tips when kayaking in any Arctic location is to keep well clear of icebergs. It's tempting to get up close to see these big blue beauties, but icebergs can roll without warning. You don't want to be anywhere near an iceberg the size of a five-story building when it decides to invert itself. Number 7, Enjoy Wildlife, But Keep Your Distance The most dangerous animal in the Arctic is the polar bear but as a summer visitor to Greenland, you are unlikely to ever see one, much less find yourself in a life-threatening encounter. Sled dogs might look cute, but never approach one. They are often chained near houses and look lonely, but do not be tempted to go and pat one as they can be unpredictable and defensive, and may lash out at a stranger. If the owner is nearby, ask by all means, but the most likely answer will be no, for your own safety. One animal that you might enjoy seeing is the big woolly muskox, but you should keep a safe distance and be cautious. Number 8, Crime in Greenland. Greenland is not a place you have to worry about crime. According to the statistical website, 
Nomeo, Greenland rates as low for crime and high for safety. The Capital Nukes Low Crime Index of 21 compares favorably with other large Australian cities like Melbourne, 44, or US cities like Los Angeles, 43, although the number of reported rapes among younger residents is alarming especially in the remote villages. Number 9, Conditions when sailing. Sailing is one of the most common ways of moving from one place to the next in Greenland, as there are no roads outside the towns. Greenland offers an endless coast with deep fjords, which are dotted with impressive icebergs and glaciers along steep cliffs. As beautiful and fascinating as this is, it can be just as dangerous to move around on the water. Number 10, Walrus Attack. In very rare cases, walruses can attack people in kayaks and other small vessels, as they are very territorial. Nothing should happen if you keep your distance and don't bother the walruses. Number 11, Illness While Traveling. If you visit Greenland as a tourist, you can expect to be treated by the local health system, but be aware that not all destinations have hospitals or healthcare professionals. It is extremely important to remember to bring extra doses of medication, if you take medication for severe conditions, such as heart disease. You cannot expect to be able to get special medication in hospitals in Greenland. Number 12, Internet and Data in Greenland. Getting connected in Greenland is sadly not easy or cheap. The harsh weather conditions often disrupt the internet network. Sometimes the internet connection in Greenland can drop for a few days, and there is no way of going online except to wait. Most hostels charge for their Wi-Fi service, and they can cost up to $10 slash hour. Number 13, Cosmetics. Despite the fact that you are going beyond the Arctic Circle and not to the Mediterranean Sea, you need to take sunscreen cosmetics with the highest sun protection factor. Since the Arctic sun, along with the rays reflected off the snow, will literally burn your skin, and staying out all day in the open can be accompanied by a burnt face and freckles. It is worth to take SPF 50 or better yet SPF 100. The same goes for lip balm, buy it with the highest SPF available. Therefore, if you decide to go in summer, be sure to take a few types of repellents to be able to safely move around the rough terrain without a mosquito swarm around you. Number 14, Rabid Foxes. There are rabid polar foxes in many places in Greenland, and it has been known for them to attack and bite. They cannot kill a person, but if you have bitten, you should be treated as soon as possible to avoid rabies infection, which can be fatal if left untreated. Number 15, Travel Insurance. You, as a traveler, are yourself responsible for having travel insurance that covers all eventualities during your trip, and for ensuring that it covers transport home, if you are injured and need special transport home that is not covered by other insurance policies, or by the conditions attached to your plane ticket. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel.